Danskai live the lovely and unique Bhutanese people and they speak the language known as Zongkha. Language is the heart of a culture. It's also a great way to know a country or its people. When I first moved in here, that's exactly what I did. Try to learn the everyday common words. So let's go and meet a few people and let's hear the words that they use most commonly in Zongkha. Kuzu Zongpola. Jenpa Lekso. Gadin Che La. Lijun Bera Yuga La. Ma Lijun Bera Yi. Chege Ming Gajmo. Yigi Ming Pem Chuke Yi. Handicraft Bazaar Gate Mo. Andi Gadin Chik Mo. Ma Sen Gai. Tashidile. Taki Din Pe Sa Cha. That was fun, wasn't it? Now, apart from these words, if you happen to understand the language deeper, you will know that Zonka is special. Most words used in Zonka have a direct and an indirect deeper meaning. For example, if you're saying family in Zonka, you're actually saying eating nest. Family in Zonka means ze tsang. Ze means to eat and tsang means a nest. While culturally, Bhutanese people sit together in a circle, nest-like formation and eat together. Makes sense, a family that eats together stays together. The word Name Same means very much or a lot. So if you're saying thank you very much, you're saying Name Same Kadinche. But Name Same actually means beyond earth, beyond sky. So adding a Kadinche would make it thank you beyond earth, beyond sky. Now isn't that amazing? There are many such words. Uh, for example, Payul. Payul means home. It is made of joining two words, pa meaning parents and you meaning village. So when you go home, you actually go to your parents, to your village, maybe to your roots. I wish to learn and come across many such words. The Zonka language is unique and not many scripts across the world have this magic. Under the Bhutan sky, there are small things that have brought me immense joy and profound learning experiences. I will keep sharing my experiences if you care to spare a few minutes. See you next time on Under the Bhutan Sky.